Modern Horizons 3 Collector Booster Box, and we're doing a giveaway. These have been the giveaways so far. A textured Tamiyo and a foil Ulamog. Those were the good hits. Actually, our last box had several good hits, including a foil Ugin's Labyrinth, but I've already given away a foil borderless Ugin's Labyrinth, and I wanted to change it up a little bit. Because even though I'm giving away the top card in the set, I don't want to just give away six of the same card. By the way, this is box number three of a sealed case of collector booster boxes. So, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment. I use a random comment picker after about five or six days after the video goes live. Online random YouTube comment picker. That's how I choose the winner. So just comment below and make sure to subscribe because I do a giveaway for every opening that is on my dime. I'm thinking about doing openings for other people. I do have a website, but I'm still finalizing all of the details. Want to make sure it's nice and purdy looking. All right, Harragast for the first mythic of the box. All right, that pack was not the worst. I have seen worse packs. <laughs> Last box, we didn't even get a really good hit until the second half of the box. So never lose hope. All right, there's the mountain. We've got Old Border, It That Heralds the End, and Brain Surge. Jet Medallion, very nice. I think our last box had three fetch lands and three medallions. That goes of eternity. Bloodstained Mire, very nice. Fetch land. Windswept Heath, a double fetch land pack. Very nice. Foil extended for that Windswept Heath. Very nice. I am having an absolute blast opening these because you just get so many good cards. It's so fun to open. Meltdown and Charitable Levy for the olds. Genku, Future Shaper. Disa the Restless. That is for Commander. First time seeing that card. Lelia, Borderless. Not bad. And we've got Ashling in Retro. Ashling Flame Dancer. That's like my third one of those, I think. Oh, how do you pronounce that? It's like Cthulhu, right? So it's Cthonian? I don't know. Let me know how that's pronounced. That can be your comment for the giveaway. All right, Kami of Jealous Thirst. Island. Now the common and uncommon old borders. Ooh, a Modern Horizons 1 reprint. Cool. We've got Kalia of the Vast. Not bad at all. Mutated Cultist for Commander. Nadu, Borderless, not bad. That is rare. Ooh, Esper Sentinel. Very cool. For the old Border Modern Horizons 2 reprint. And a Jet Medallion Borderless Foil. Very cool. A very creepy artwork. I often comment how some of these artworks are so beautiful, I get them as a painting. And that one, I definitely would not get as a painting. That is well, probably one of the creepiest Magic Gathering cards I've seen in quite a long time. All right, Kozilex Unsealing. Planes. Here's the common and uncommon. Two the narrative. All right, Wrath of the Skies. We've got Stone Idol Generator for Commander, followed by Dreamtide Whale in Extended. Flare of Malice, Borderless, that's the break. Cool that they're doing that in these now. And an Old Border Foil Primal Prayers, rare. All right, so we've gotten three Mythics. I'm gonna put these down in row two because the good stuff goes in the top row, right? Like the good booze, you put the, put the good stuff on the top shelf. Right, mountain. We've got Jolted Awake and Victimize. And then Crabomination. 
Very cool. Ulamog's Dread Sire, Commander. Emerald Medallion, very nice. That's our third medallion. Keeping track over here. Warren Soul Trader. Ooh, a foil borderless Philia. Very nice. Is this supposed to be a Corgi? I actually really like Corgis in real life. I like corny Corgis and Wiener Dogs. I like the small ones. The small ones that look weird when they run. I find it adorable. All right, Molten Gatekeeper, Boltstorm Angel, whoops, that card is lightly played now. All right, the old borders, Skoa and Strike It Rich. We've got Emrakul, very nice. Regular border foil Emrakul. That is definitely a top shelf hit. All right, the Necro Bloom. And Necro Dominance, uh, that one's top shelf too, but over on the side of the top shelf. How about that? Polluted Delta, that brings us to three fetch lands. And we are now, oh, that was the second half of the box. We're on the second pack of the second half now. All right, so last box we didn't get a really good hit until the second half, and then this box we didn't get a really good hit until the second half. Kind of weird. All right, Strike It Rich and Aether Spike. Now we've got Wheel of Potential, followed by Jyoti. It's my second one of those, in foil even. And invert Polarity, Wrath of the Skies. That's cool. Very cool looking. And oh, oh, that's textured. Very nice. Textured Solitude. You know, now that this is my fourth box total, the third of a sealed case, and textured cards are not that hard to pull. They're in, like, every other box. I think I've pulled three. So out, out of, I've opened four boxes and gotten three textures. They're not that rare, surprisingly. You would think that they would make them a little bit more rare considering the uh, actual serialized cards of this set are extremely rare. There's only three of them, and there's only 250 copies of each. So those are basically impossible to get. All right, Unstable Amulet, Sling Gang Lieutenant, that's an MH1. Sewing Mycospawn, Exterminator Magmark, March. Interesting. Six in the Borderless Portrait, very cool. And we've got a Polluted Delta Old Border. Very nice. That is four fetch lands. Oh, and an Endurance. Wow, we got a Solitude Textured and an Endurance. Wow. That's really cool. Special Guests apparently not super hard to get either because my last box had two Special Guests and this box also had two Special Guests. But maybe that's just my small sample size. I am getting some really good boxes these boxes just fantastic super fun to open we've got hard evidence and unstable amulet all right archway of innovation razor field ripper amphibian downpour growl that's a nice one there and grief the reprint so that's our third. We got three elementals in this box. I think our last box had three elementals. This one has three elementals. I want to put them all together right there. Elementals, apparently not super hard to get either. Interesting. Um, have I gotten all three? I've actually not gotten all three of the Eldrazi. I've gotten multiple Emrakul and multiple Ulamog. I have not gotten Kozilek. Although that is the least expensive one, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining about that. But it's always fun to get a new hit. Something you haven't gotten before. Orem's Chant, not bad. Omo, Mythic for Commander. Sapphire Medallion, now that is our fourth medallion of the box. Elda, or was that? Eladami? Oh, wow, how do you pronounce that? Eladamri. 
Eladamry, Corvectol, Elvish, am I right? Okay, what's this? Monumental Henge. That is not a fetch land. Last pack. Good number of mythics there. All right. Dog Umbra. It that heralds the end. Meteoric Mace. Here's the common and uncommon. Abiding Grace and Skoa. A flooded Strand. That is a fetch land. So that brings us to five fetch lands for the box. All right, whoops. Tempt with Mayhem for Commander. Arena of Glory, not a fetch land. We got Polluted Delta. That one is a fetch land. That was another double fetch land pack. And Kali of the Vast and Etched. Very nice. That was a really good last pack. Multiple fetch lands and an etched mythic. All right, so textured solitude from the special guests. Great card, MH3 special guest. Very cool foiling, it's like, like double rainbow foiling. And then it's also etched, obviously, very, very cool. So this is gonna be our giveaway. Make sure to comment. And if you wanna get in on more videos and more giveaways, Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.